Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cute rainbow macrame wall hanging. Now you may have seen these before, they are very trendy right now, but today we are going to add a little bit of a twist. We're going to use fabric to make our wall hang. So of course anything I use in this tutorial will be at the blog post, so find that link in the description box below or in the comments. So now I'm just going to go over what you need, which is some rope. That is the main thing you're going to need for this project. You're going to need a three ply twisted cotton rope in whichever size you choose. Of course, the size of rope will just dictate how large your rainbow will be. I'm going to be using a jelly roll for my fabric. So I just got these they're two and a half inch strips and I will be cutting them in half. I'm going to be using some wire to just create the form and then um, I have some thread. I might actually not end up using it in the end, but I might also. And then some beads for accents, which is totally optional if you want. And then a needle and a thimble if you are going to be sewing this. I also have some soft yarn that I'm also going to be adding to my rainbow, but this also is optional, but we'll talk about all that stuff throughout the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to do is determine how big you want your rainbow to be. Now you're also going to need some excess and that's going to be for your fringe. So make sure you add on another four inches to whichever measurement you decide, but I just kind of formed it on my table to figure out what size I want it to be and I am using a larger cord so it's going to be a larger wall hanging. So I already cut my first rope and I'll have the measurements for this exact rainbow at the blog post but you really can just decide what size you want as you go um, and then if you like the size you can record your own measurements but it's really it just depends on the cord that you have and how big you want it to be. Some people like to put it on their rear view mirrors on their car or use it as a keychain or some people want a big statement piece on their wall and they you know so it just depends on the size cord and how big you want it to be. So now I'm just going to be taping off where I'm going to cut my cord and if you have a nice wide tape you can just give it a good wrap and then cut right through the tape and then that will seal off both ends so you don't have to keep putting tape on after you cut it. Um, but it's really difficult to get through this cord. I think this is like 5 eighths um, cord. Like it's pretty thick stuff. But it makes a nice wall hanging also so that you can actually see it. Um, so now I'm just going to take my wire. And I just, this is just regular craft wire that I got from the just the uh, the dollar store and um, I'm just I'm, I actually made it too long I'm gonna cut it but you want to make it as long as it's going to be that where you wrap with the fabric so where the fringe is you don't need any of the wire there so um, I'm just gonna do that to all three pieces I just have this little wire just all ready to go and now I'm going to actually use my hot glue gun and I'm going to secure the wire onto the, the cord. Now you don't have to do this and you could essentially just kind of put some glue at the end of the, of the wire and then once you start wrapping it, the, the wire will just stay. Um, but I'm just gonna do three little spots here and I will do that with all three of my bows, I guess. <laughs> Not sure exactly what you call each segment of a rainbow. Um, just make sure you don't burn yourself. <laughs> it is hot. So once you have your little wires connected or, you know, secured onto your little cords here, then we can decide what colors we are going to use for our little rainbow. So um, you also can make more than w just three arches also. So you don't have to just do it exactly as I do. But I really liked this combination with the teal 
and then the purple and the pink i got this jelly roll over at michael's and it's just like a rainbow jelly roll so it had like all the colors so i just chose these three but you can use your regular you know by the yard just cut like one and a quarter maybe even just one inch one inch strips um and that will work just fine the great thing about these little jelly roll pieces is that each one um actually one strip did one part of the bow so i could have made two uh two of these rainbows out of all this fabric which is not a lot of fabric so that's pretty awesome and that's the thing um, most of the time you're going to find these and they have, they're wrapped with, uh, like yarn or embroidery floss, which looks beautiful, but it does, it's very time consuming to do, to wrap it all that. And with the fabric, it is so much quicker. <laughs> and I like that. I like uh, immediate gratification. And the great thing about the fabric is that it does still kind of, it fits snugly onto the cord or the uh, or the rope so you can still see that you know the formation of the rope which I think gives it more texture to be able to see the rope through the fabric so I just put a little dab of glue to get it started and then I just started wrapping and I kind of sort of I'm wrapping it in a diagonal way so I'm going kind of up the the rope and how it's designed because it kind of goes up in a diagonal so I'm just following that kind of pattern with the the fabric all the way to the end and then I'm gonna put another little dab of glue right at the end to hold it into place and then I'm just gonna do the other two very quickly in the very same manner I'm just going to attach my purple to the next strand and then I'm going to do the pink in the next one now my inspiration for this was flamingo so you'll see that I have a little wooden flamingo that I'm going to paint and put on this but you can really take inspiration from anywhere um, especially if you want to make it to match a room or for a nursery like these I've seen these everywhere and they're just gorgeous I love all the color combinations that people think of um, so don't forget that over at the blog post I will have all of the um, the links for any materials the rope anything I use um, I'll have that all there for you so you don't even need to think you can just go over there and grab it um, so I'm just going to cut off that little excess wire there. Now I'm not super great at getting things even. This is also literally my first one. Um, so I did have to finagle with it a little bit and cut some fabric off and all those things. But um, I think it's still, because it's kind of scrappy looking because of the, I left the frays of the fabric on and stuff. Um, I, I think that even though it's not perfectly even, it doesn't bother me as much. But, uh, I mean, if you were selling them, then maybe it would bother me more. <laughs> so now I'm actually just taking a marker and I'm just marking on the, um, on the bottom of it just to make it all in line. I'm actually going to be using some um, really beautiful yarn and I'm going to be kind of putting just a little bit of it at the bottom of the fabric now you could just leave it and make sure that the bottom of your fabric is nice and straight and then just fray it from there but I'm just gonna do a little bit of wrapping with this yarn I think it also adds some really pretty texture also to the rainbow so I'm just going to wrap it around and as you've seen I put a little dab of glue and then I left that tail alongside the rope and then I just wrapped around it so that I could hide it and then I'm just going to snip off the excess and put a little dab of glue at the end to secure that piece of yarn so I went ahead and did all of them um, off camera because it 
it took a little bit. So this is how it's looking with all of my yarn. And now we can start to remove all of the tape at the ends. So I'm just gonna use my scissors just to snip it off. And there's one different colored tape there and that's actually from where I got the rope and they actually used electrical tape. So I might try that next time. Cause the scotch tape, mm, I don't know. <laughs> So now that I have the tape off, you can unravel the strands, but um, we're gonna fray it more, which is basically brushing it out later on. So now I'm actually going to take some hot glue, and this is sort of the shortcut version. I've seen a lot of people make the rainbow and then actually use a needle and thread to sew through the bows to each other, so they would go from this, the middle of it out to the last bow and then go back through. Um, with that, then you won't see glue. I, you can kind of see glue with this. I think because it's the fabric, the, the glue doesn't really absorb, but I found that if you make it out of yarn, the glue is less noticeable. But either way, you can't really see it. It's still clear. <laughs> but um, I still think it came up really cute either way. And we're just gonna try to make things as even as possible. And you have to work a little bit quickly when we're doing this also, just because the glue does dry fairly quickly. But I think it looks so cute so far. And now from here, you can just kind of shape your rainbow. And then we can grab a brush or a comb. Um, a metal tooth comb would actually work best, but I didn't have that on hand. I used a regular brush, but after I actually took a stronger tooth comb and that made it look a lot nicer. But you're just gonna brush out all the strands, kind of untwisting it with your hands at the same time. And we're just gonna flip it over and do a little more. And then all these strands are very much uneven. So we're also going to take it over to our cutting mat and cut. I use a rotary cutter. I didn't end up filming it by accident. But because this rope is so large, it was really difficult with the rotary cutter. So I think that with the smaller rope, I think that method would be a lot easier because I put the ruler down and then I use the rotary cutter, but the strands move and then some are longer. So I don't know, maybe scissors. If you have some really good sharp scissors, that probably would be the best bet in the end. So now I'm going to be just putting a little um, string at the top for hanging. I didn't have a good cord or rope or something better than what I had. So I just used some really strong um, sewing thread. Like this is for my industrial sewing machine. Um, so I'm just gonna use my needle and I'm going to thread it. I'm going to poke, I actually thread threaded the loop of the um, strand through it. So I'm pulling the loop through and then I can put the two ends through the loop and then just pull it tight. And then I can put my little beads on it. A lot of people like to use twine also to make it look a little um, natural. But I have these really fun crystal beads and I'm just gonna put a little piece of that yarn at the top. I thought it added a nice little touch but I have a little wooden flamingo. I got it over at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use some paint and I'm gonna paint it up and I'm gonna put it on there as well. I think it's super cute. You can add any little decorations if you want or you can leave it completely plain. It is totally up to you and I hope that if you do make this, I hope that you share it. 
over on Instagram. I am very active over there. We also have a Facebook group and those links are in the description box below. So definitely come over and join the community and show, show everyone what, what you're working on. So I'm just quickly doing a little speed paint here. I never paint in my videos, but I thought it'd be fun to just add this on. And I'm just using some pink and white. And it's so cute. I use a little ball. What is it called? I don't even know what they're called. I forget what they're called. <gasps> I'm losing my touch. I don't know what my tools are called. <laughs> so after that, I just did a dab of glue at the top. And then I placed my cute little flamingo and that is going to be adorable in my new room, in my new sewing room that I've been working hard on making super cute for myself. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.